the, thank God the women's Olympics team won today, John. Yeah, barely. Barely won because do you know what the conversation in America would be tomorrow morning until the end of time if Team USA lost that game against France today? Yes, it would be all about our good friend, Caitlin Clark. Okay, if you had Caitlin Clark, you would have won. And you know who would have been happy that that happened? Steve Kerr. Because Steve Kerr, the way he handled the management of the team in terms of minutes, like even in that French game, I'm like, when they went to Wemby, uh, when they went to Wemby and Gobert, I was like, so why is Joel Embiid not in there? Like, like at one point, like, okay, Jason Tatum, yeah, okay, he's in there now, but why is he guarding Rudy Gobert in the paint? Like get like what are you doing with these rotations? I this might be the last of Steve Kerr with Team USA basketball because Team USA basketball literally won those games on their own those last two games yesterday against France and a couple days before that against Serbia because of the talent on the team, not because of the coaching. It felt like in that Serbia game, especially Kerr got bailed out. Like Steph and Durant and LeBron were so good in that Serbia game and the comeback. Yeah, it overshadowed him not playing Tatum and some of the, you know, rotation questions. And then, yeah, the Embiid thing too. Like, I, I wouldn't be shocked, KJ, if 2028 it's it's Spolstra or someone else is the head. And I wouldn't even be shocked if Kerr doesn't want to deal with it anymore, right? Like, yeah, he's on a gold medal team. He's the head coach of it. Kind of move on from there. I, I, I wonder if we get one of those uh, mutual parting of the ways, as it's always deemed. Uh, Noah Lyles won the bronze medal and tested positive for COVID. You just can imagine what those do for the medical stories. They're like, okay, so you so you mean to tell me that a guy can win an Olympic race, we come in third in an Olympic race against world class sprinters and have COVID? <laughs> is, is COVID a PED? Yeah, well, yeah, well, that's the other part. Like you know, like if you took too much antihistamine, but th- that's the other thing. Noah Lyles is also the guy who questioned world champion of what when it talked about basketball. And so, like, look, Grady's an American. Am I a fan? I don't have to be. But not a real big fan of Noah Lyles. Because, like, okay. He won the 100 meter, though. Yeah, Yes, he won the 100 meter. But when he but when he loses the 200 meter to two other people, he's got COVID? Like, like is that an excuse? I you know buy I mean? it. I buy right, it. Right. Right. Like, so if that's the case, I would presume you won the 100 with COVID, too. Uh, yeah, that's the thing. I tested positive for COVID. That's why I came in third. Like, come on, bro. That's weird. That's weak sauce. Uh, did you see the sprinter? Uh, I think she was from France. I can't remember where she was from. But after she wins the race, she proposes to her boyfriend in the stands. Did you I see heard this? that. So I didn't see it. I heard <sighs> the story. He's cooked for life. Cooked for life. He Like, what, what decisions does he get to make? Like, do you think he could go in the joint account and go buy an Xbox if he wanted to? Well, hopefully. Hopefully, right? But then again, yeah. she runs that video right in the kitchen on, you know, these. you got these smart screens now on, on, uh, on your refrigerators. Like on the smart screen of the refrigerator, she's got a nice photo of her proposing to him and saying, yes, reminding him, you better ask me, son, if you want to smile. 